Hi everyone, it's Sarah from My Square I'm Stitching. Today is July 18th, oh it's my mom's birthday. And this is floss tube number 62. I apologize for the bad lighting. My ring lights uh, tripod part broke a while ago. And then last time I tried to record and I pulled the USB out of the computer, it just completely pulled apart. So now I've got this makeshift thing going on in my super dark house. So lighting is gonna be a hot mess for a while. Um, if you're new, welcome to the shit show. If you're not new, hey, thanks for coming back and putting up with me. Um, I wasn't here last week because as you will see, I have not done a lot of stitching. Yeah, I was mainly knitting baby hats because um, when I hear people are expecting babies, my brain goes baby hats. So I start making baby hats. And uh, work's been a bit much for me. <laughs> So I needed something that uh, I could just mind, be completely mindless and stockinette stitch is just completely mindless. And then when I was at home, I was just vegging watching uh, Star Trek Discovery because um, if you're new here, I'm a Trekkie. And I'm now catching up on all the new Star Treks. And so I'm on Discovery and the first what's it called? season is very, uh, is, Klingon based so there's a lot of subtitles so I can stitch no I can knit and read subtitles I can't stitch and read subtitles so anyways this is gonna be a short one I don't have a lot to show you I'm so sorry um oh and it's like hot as oh oh so hot okay um I will start with a finish well I'll start with my only finish House of cards over here. Okay, so I finished Flying Lesson from Silver Creek Samplers. It's on 18 Count Ada in Hazelwood by Fiber on a Whim, one over one. I love how it turned out. I used the called for DMCs, except the hat is Starlight Stitchery Raven, and Fly by Night is Vildani oh, Aged Black. Now, I did not like the Vildani. It's just, it's too thin for me. So I have passed it along. Because there's obviously a lot left. Because I did one strand, so didn't use a lot. I mean, I like how it turned out in this. And then, of course, I started right in the middle of the fabric. Because, you know, it's... <sighs> wasn't using my brain. But, once I cut it out, I'll have plenty on top and bottom for at least... One, two, yeah, at least two on top and two on bottom to uh, for the quirky Quakers because that Darling Whimsy Designs keeps on releasing new Quakers, you guys. Our last ones were sea themed. What was there? Um, crab, jellyfish, octopus, and then the Orca Sink the Rich, which out of all the new patterns, that's the only one I bought because I had to as soon as I saw it. Um, I don't have ink, so I couldn't print it out, so that's part of my haul that I cannot show you. Let's see, okay. And then, baby hats. So I just do the simple, like when I'm using uh, fingering weight yarn, I just do these simple rolled brimmed hats, little umbilical cord tops, and then DK is just like, what's it called? Ribbed hat that you fold up with the little baby's head. So let's see, I have it on my computer what the yarns were. Three of these companies no longer are in production. This is, sorry for that glare, it's gonna come on my glasses even more. This is three use twist in a fiber euphoric sock in paranormal. They are no longer dying. This is Moonshine Fiber, Moonshine Fiber Company mystery sock in your mom. They are no longer dying. This is Perfect Day Yarns Free Wear Sock and Vivid Tulips Eat My Oxygen. This is my yarn company. I am no longer dying. <laughs> and then this is uh, Three Use Twisted and Fiber Euphoric. So no, that's not right. I said that already. This is Space Cadet Vega and Sun Shower. They are still dying. Okay. Those are my FOs. Next, I will figure out baby sweater to make 
Whew, so hot, you guys. All right. And then what I'm actively working on is Halloween at Hawkorn Hollow by the Carriage House Samplings. It is on 18 Count Ada by To Die For Fabrics in Ash and Tan, one over one, just the called for DMC, except for a few spots like a pumpkin, uh, top of a pumpkin. I needed a certain color and I didn't have it, so I just grabbed what was nearby in a green and subbed it in because who cares? It's just a little tiny bit of pumpkin. Anyways, that's what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm currently working on the middle. I named my witches Carlita and Maeve. I finished Carlita a while ago and I just finished Maeve. I have almost this entire middle block finally done. I just need to finish the outline and the cat. And you can't see the other half because it's in the Q-snap, but because I said I'm actively working on it. So there's Maeve and the cat and I've named the cat Grudge because I'm watching Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, and the big fat cat's name is Grudge. And Star Trek Discovery is definitely very low on my list of enjoyable Star Treks. Like, I keep wondering why I'm watching it. I really enjoyed season two, but honestly that's because it was Captain Pike. But anyways, if you don't watch Star Trek, you have no idea what I'm talking about. There we go. So yeah, just gotta finish the cat. Do the black. And then I'll either go on to the mermaid, mermaid box or the scarecrow box. Cause I have, as you saw, a chunk of the bottom part of this one done. And I think I have part of the scarecrow and part of a pumpkin done on that side. So really it's just, I'm calling it, I'm, I'm going to the mermaid side. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I acted like I, like I didn't know. I, like, as soon as I take this off the Q-snap, I know I'm going for a mermaid. And then I have a Polar Pack by Plum Street Sampler at work to work on this week. Oh God, it's so sweaty. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. Um, Cause I'm done with baby hats. So even if my brain doesn't want to be at work and I'm having a hard time concentrating, I will try to do some stitching. All right, so that's it. That's, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I'm sorry. It should be two weeks before I see you again because we're going on our trip to Georgia next week for my daughter's birthday. And um, I'm taking the Mill Hill suitcase to work on as my travel project, my Star Trek socks. And that's it. Because I can't stitch in the car, I can only knit in the car. And then when we're usually so busy, I don't get a lot of stitching done when I'm like in a hotel or traveling. So just a small mill hill is all I'm gonna take. Let's see. Yeah, okay, let me look at my notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. So I will go over my haul. I got the Quirky Quaker Whale in the um, Sink the Rich, which I wish I got a picture of and I didn't, I'm sorry. And then I got, um, she was having a sale, fabric pop. Where is her card? Oh, I lost her card. That's the card she sends as a thank you. It's fabric pop. I, she always sends little samples. Look, look at the foxes. Look at the, look at the eggs and then the bananas. I mean, that's cute, right? But I got this um, bundle for um, to make. Not anytime soon. The baby's not due till February. And I, baby quilts are small, so I do try to quilt them myself instead of sending them away. So that means it won't take as long to make the quilt because I'm not have, I don't have to wait for it to get to Missouri Star and then come back. But, oh my God, these fabrics are so cute. I have plenty of fabric. I could have easily whipped up the baby quilt with my own fabric. But these fabrics are so cute. And like I said, she was having a sale, so I had to get them. Look at that. I have no idea what this fabric's called. I'm sorry I lost my sheet. Look at the moose and the duck. And the bunny and the frog and the raccoon. Look at the snail. I just noticed the snail. And then this one. Oh, the chicken's cute. What is that? Is that a goat? Oh my gosh, look at the goat. Oh, look at the little piggy. Just, I can't see. You see the little piggy? 
And then this one is, I know they don't all exactly go together. Like those are two fabrics could probably work together animal wise. Cause then I've got sea animals, but you know what? Animals is animals and babies don't know and they don't give a shit. And the colors all work really well together. Look at the, look at the beluga whale. Oh, look at the, is that, that turtle's wearing a cap. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Oh, adorable. And then this one is like African animals. Oh, look at the pelican. This one's probably my least favorite. Oh, the animals are cute. I really love sea animals and I really love the uh, cute animals like this. What's cute on here? Well, it's all cute. I do like the zebra. And the elephant's pretty damn cute. And then, because, like I said, she was having a sale, sale I was like, well, I'm going to get myself something. So I bought a uh, Ruby Star Society. Ruby Star Society Projects with Purpose. It's a panel. Patrick panel. And that's what I'll use these for. But I love them. This, these ladies were on that quilt I made for my uh, kid's friend. Oh, look at the ladies. Those ladies. Oh, I love those ladies. Big strawberry bird. Oh, my kid would like something with that stupid cat on it. Look at the mushrooms. And the butterflies. The alligator. Oh, my other, my bonus child would love that teacup set. so cute. I can make bags. But yeah, so that's all I have for you. No news. Um, let's see what's new in life. Nothing. We're going on our trip to Georgia next week to the aquarium. My daughter's going to see, like I said, wants to see uh, whale sharks. and the only aquarium in the United States that has them. So for her 18th birthday, which was in April, we're doing this trip. And then uh, that's it. Uh, Amber's paw is better. It has stopped bleeding. I mean, it bled for like almost a month nonstop, and now it's uh, hasn't bled for like five days a week, maybe roughly. So, yeah, so that's good news. So, that's it, guys. God, so embarrassingly short. I was considered not doing this again, but I had stuff piling up. I want to put it away and clean up because my kid um, starts college next month. So, we've started taking. I've been naturally just buying little things for her dorm room or, um, you know, like, uh, bath mats and things she needs, like cleaning supplies and crap like that. And I just been storing them in the basement or in her room. And I said, we need to actually put it on the kitchen table and just so that I'm not constantly buying like dish soap thinking I need, I need to get dish soap before I know I have four bottles of dish soap. So we're slowly moving everything onto the table and then she's going to deep clean her room and we're going to prepare to move her next month. So that's exciting. That's it. That's really all I have for you guys. I'm going to try to do some more stitching. I'm really enjoying my Hollow and Hawk Run Hollow. So it's kind of um, also boring you floss tubes because I'm kind of being really monogamous in what I'm stitching right now. So, and I'm, of course, I'm stitching on something big, so it's not going to get done. So I'm not going to finish something, work on something else, finish it. Have, so I'm not going to have multiple things to show you. And I apologize. But um, yeah. So I hope that you're staying cooler than I am. It's friggin' hot. Um, and I hope to see you again. I hope you stop by. Sorry that my floss tubes have become so lame. <laughs> if they ever weren't. <laughs> All right. I should just call myself the Midwestern Goodbye Stitcher. Because good lord do I ramble at the end. I will see you guys later. Have a good summer.